right now, crews are out looking for a good Samaritan who tried to help a father and son who drowned in Apollo Beach. Eight on your side's Beth Russo joins us from the scene. They're live. Beth, we know those two are dead. They're hoping that this good Samaritan is still alive. Absolutely, and it's a super sad morning out here at the Apollo Beach Preserve as that father and his little boy did not survive. Now, if we take a quick look over here, you can see the deputy that's stationed right there, one of a number of resources that are out here. The sheriff says that they are searching for that good Samaritan who did not hesitate to go into the water when this father and son were swept away. Now, if we pull up some video, you can see more of the search efforts that have been underway since around 7.30 last night. Now, unfortunately, Unfortunately, as we mentioned, that little boy and his father did not survive. So all of these resources are again focused on finding this good Samaritan. Now the bodies of that little boy and his father were recovered around 9 o'clock, but all of this actually got underway around 7.30. They say that is when they received a frantic call from the good Samaritan's girlfriend saying that the three had been swept out into the water. So when we talk about the resources that are out here, it's not just the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, it's also Tampa. A fire rescue, or I should say Tampa Police, Hillsborough County Fire Rescue, FWC, as well as the Coast Guard. Sheriff Chad Chronister says that this Good Samaritan is a hero, but he also reminds that this is a big warning for all families who are headed out to the beach this summer. When you have areas that are clearly marked, no swimming, it's for a reason. And I'm asking every parent out there, don't put an infant child near any type of moving or open body of water without having a life jacket on. This morning, we've been talking to deputies out here on the scene, and we've actually seen a number of boats that have been out searching the water as well. They've been moving around throughout the area. We're in touch with the sheriff's office so that we can bring you any new information if and when they find this good Samaritan, as well as if they identify that father and son who did not make it through this incident. As soon as we have any new information, we're going to bring it to you right here on air and on the WFLA app. We're live in Apollo Beach this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.